Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Cheryl and today I'm here to bring you my most disappointing books of 2018. So this list is fairly short because I did not read very many books in 2018. So without further ado, let's just get into this. The first one is a controversial one and that is The Diviners by Libba Bray. I just didn't connect to this book. I didn't connect to the characters. I didn't connect to the writing. I've tried Libba Bray's other series, the uh, Gemma Doyle trilogy, didn't connect with that one either. So I'm just starting to think that maybe she's just not the author for me. I know a lot of people love this and the premise was interesting in that it, it is a paranormal uh, thriller horror novel set in the 20s. So it had some really interesting ideas, but I just didn't think it was executed well. So I did not enjoy it that much. The next book I'm going to talk about is The Love Interest. And this book was really popular on booktube for a while, or at least when it first came out. And I read it and oh my god, this book was bad. Like, it was supposed to be a tongue in cheek, uh, satirical look at the uh, oh my god, what is that trope called? Uh, the Love Triangle. So you've got the main two characters, two boys who are part of a secret organization who are trained to be love interests and they are both tasked with making this uh, prominent girl fall in love with them and that's what this whole organization is about. They try to kind of control prominent figures in the world by giving them love interests who then feed the organization information. But the, the draw is, or the the problem is that whoever fails to make her love them will die. They'll be killed. Um, and then of course the two love interests fall in love with, you, with each other instead. So I feel like this is a premise where if it was done well it would be funny and good but the writing was extremely cringy and it just didn't do it for me. And uh, I don't regret reading it but I do regret buying it. This next one is one that I um, I just actually made a review video for so you can check out for all of my in-depth thoughts but that is The Female of the Species by Mindy McGinnis. Did not like this book. I felt like it was an attempt to look at rape culture. Ooh, look at that. Nice. It was like an attempt to look at rape culture but it fell completely flat. It had some of the most unlikable characters. I didn't like any of them and there were three different points of views. Um, I didn't like the plot. I, I just everything about this book did not appeal to me. Uh, so yeah, like I said, you can go ahead and check out my review if you want more thoughts. But I had high hopes for this book because everyone seemed to love it, and it just it fell completely flat. And finally, another controversial book, and that is *A Study in Charlotte* um, by Brittany Cavallero. This one is pretty popular here on BookTube and Book Twitter, and. I didn't like it. Um, it. It's a retelling, well not a retelling, it, it's a book that follows Watson, um, his great 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 something grandson and Sherlock's great great something or other uh, granddaughter and they end up uh, at the same boarding school and have to solve a mystery together. I feel like it could have been good, it could have been done well as all of these books probably could have been but once again I didn't like the characters and for me, I do need to connect to the characters to some degree and to have a complete disconnect. It just, it didn't work for me. I also, I don't mind suspending my disbelief uh, about some things, but this book, you really had to suspend your disbelief to, um, to get behind the events that happened. And I just didn't work for me. I'm sorry. Uh, I know this is a favorite here. Uh, but yeah, so those are the books that I did not like. This video is fairly short because I did not read that many books in 2018. And that's okay. At least it means I read a fair amount of good books. Uh, but yeah, so keep a lookout for my best, yeah, best books. I don't know why I struggled to think about that. My best books in 2018 a video, which should be up fairly soon. And I will see all of you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, all that good stuff. And bye.